Oh, come on, DeSantis. Don't be like that. So amazing. Everyone, please welcome to the show, Ty Smith. <laughs> What is really on Focus and Focus I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. If you are someone who has been subscribed to my channel for a long time, double check to make sure that you are. But if you are fairly new to the channel, get an idea of what this channel is about. What do you do? Go to my channel, click on playlist. All these different things I do on this channel. See all these different thumbnails? Those are all different categories of things that I do on this channel. From comedy to cooking to DIY when it comes to fixing cars. There's a lot of things I do on this channel. So check the channel out in its entirety before you subscribe. I'm pretty sure you'll find something on here that you like. What's going on, folks? Preach it, you guys all being there. Make sure you do everything I told you to do at the beginning of this video. Follow me on all these platforms listed here. And yes, that is the spelling of that. And that's how it appears on Rumble. All right, folks, so uh, you guys know I did a video the other day, and I was telling you guys about how Donald Trump was going to be looking into who his VP is going to be. Well, he did bring out a short list that included Tim Scott, Vivek Ramaswamy, you know, the heavy hitters like that, DeSantis. Some of y'all thought it was going to be like Ben Carson or even Tucker Carlson at one time, but he listed off a few names there. But I told you that I didn't think Trump would go for DeSantis. I kind of, I stand corrected. He actually did list DeSantis. But the issue is DeSantis doesn't want that. No, no, he doesn't. Ron DeSantis reveals he would not accept Trump VP spot. DeSantis also said he didn't regret running in the primary, but said he was frustrated that the race ended up being an incumbent race. Now, come on, DeSantis. Come on now. Some of y'all that are Trump haters, y'all here. Well, it was one. It says, in a call with supporters on Wednesday, Florida governor and former GOP primary candidate Ron DeSantis said he did not want to be the 2024 GOP frontrunner, Donald Trump's vice president, and left the door open of a potential 2028 presidential run, which I think that'd be sweet. According to the New York Times, DeSantis said it would make it would be a mistake for Trump to consider identity politics when making a selection for vice president. Oh, boy, you know, Trump going to get this. If it wasn't for me. He wouldn't even be the governor of Florida right now if it wasn't for me. No, let me stop. When asked about a potential 2028 run during the 30-minute call to thank backers who volunteered to serve as his presidential delegates, DeSantis said, I haven't ruled anything out. DeSantis spoke on all baggage Trump has, saying that this is a concern for Republicans heading into the election, but added that Biden was going to be the gift that keeps on giving. I have no idea what that means. Anyway, DeSantis also said he didn't regret running in the primary, but said he was frustrated that the race ended up being an incumbent race. DeSantis dropped out of the race in January, said the dynamics of the race were he kept getting indicted and he drew more support out of sympathy for that. I don't think it was sympathy. DeSantis. I got to disagree with him. And there's a lot of things that I like about uh, Rod DeSantis and what he's doing in Florida, going after the woke and everything like this. But I highly doubt that the reason why people, end up gaining people end up supporting Donald Trump more not out of sympathy but because they see what the goddamn on deep state and these crazy elite and globalists are doing with the system that's what I'm saying so no I, I, I highly disagree see it's a difference between and Trump although he's not the president right now Trump is still doing what he said he was going to do which is drain the swamp and y'all looking like he ain't draining the swamp because he's not the president no what y'all see going on with Trump is revealing to you guys what was in the swamp y'all follow me all the things that we see going on to Donald Trump right now as is, is simply showing us the creatures that were in the swamp. The system, now the, the DOJ is being weaponized against him. Trust me, when y'all say, they're not weaponizing him, they did it to me. What? Yeah, for some of y'all that don't know this, uh, I was put on a domestic terrorist list when I went viral for blasting CRT at a school board meeting. They called me on my way to a TED Talk, and I needed to pull over at a parking lot that has cell phone towers. And I did a live review because I was put on a domestic terrorist list by the Department of Justice, Mary Garland, via Joe Biden, White House. Yeah, and I didn't care. I mean, I still spoke the truth. It didn't bother me at all. Anyway, my point in saying all that is what you see going on with Donald Trump right now is showing you guys that this is some crazy stuff that go on behind scenes and who's really these folks that are running the show, these globalists, these elitists, and pretty all comes down to it, it's evil. 
So, no, I don't think that people are doing this out of uh, sympathy. They're doing it out of, oh, wow, they they going a little crazy with this Donald Trump thing. And that's why I think people are doing it for us. So, anyway, DeSantis also said in the call, if it was really just eight, ten Republicans who who had never obviously been president, unlike Trump, I think we would have run away with it. DeSantis slammed Trump in the call saying he failed to deliver on many of his 2016 campaign promises. He said, I was in Congress the first two years when Trump was president, DeSantis said. I mean, we didn't really do what we said we would do. You didn't see any major immigration, border, or any type of legislation. You didn't see any with repealing or replacing Obamacare. You didn't see anything about reining in the bureaucracy. I mean, it was pretty, pretty mundane stuff. He said the lack of holding Trump accountable would be a concern if he returns to the White House next year. The Florida Republican also complained of the role conservative media had in the primary election, which he said provided no accountability at all for what he said. No accountability at all for anything Trump would say. Now, I have to agree with him on that. And the only reason why I'm saying it is this. That was proven whenever Trump gave a town hall and I was watching it. With a lot of you, and I was critiquing what Trump was doing. I was like, come on, just answer the question. No, Trump, quit talking about what you already did. Talk about what you're going to do. And that was proven based off of how a lot of y'all responded there. You shouldn't do it. Do. Y'all, y'all, you know how crazy it sounds for y'all to tell me that I shouldn't be criticizing Trump because I supported Trump? You know how crazy that is? That's ridiculous. You guys that jumped on board, you, you sound just like a leftist. You sound like a liberal. No, 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 no. Me criticizing what Trump did does not make me anything. No leftist, no liberal. It makes me an independent thinker who feel that Trump my, what Trump should have focused on what he is going to do in the coming years should he become president versus on what he did in the past because we're trying to figure out what we're going to do to fix what's going on now and how it's going to look for our future. So me making that statement is what you call constructive criticism. I guarantee you if I was able to sit down and talk with Trump again, which I have before, and I told him that, he would probably... You know, but y'all came out, just, y'all talking about me, sound like a liberal. Y'all came out acting like the liberal left. Yo, I'm, I'm unsubscribing for your channel. I can't believe you criticized Trump. I can't, y'all act like I called the man stupid, dumb, bad, orange man bad, a, a, a dick. T- I didn't call him any of that. I simply said, folk, answer the question by focusing on what you're going to do, not what you already did. Anyway, let me digress from that because some of y'all still going to get pissed off on that. You shouldn't say nothing about him. Y'all lost y'all mind. I'm different. Anyway. Let's see. Their business model just doesn't work if they offer any criticism of Trump. DeSantis said of the conservative news media, adding this was just an observation. And like I said, I have to agree with him because it happened to me. Anywho, he said at some point he could shoot someone on Fifth Avenue and not lose a vote. DeSantis said, he said, well, I think he could shoot someone on Fifth Avenue and conservative media wouldn't even report it. Come on now. Now, I think that's pushing it right there. I, I, I think that's really pushing it. I, that that's that's crazy. So I don't know, man. That I don't know. Uh, DeSantis. I mean, that was my. Uh, come on, man. Come on, man. Here we we in Florida. DeSantis. We love you as a governor, man. But this this is a little this is a little off right here. Like I said, y'all get it now. Look at what I just did with DeSantis. I showed you and told you the points that he said. I'm I'm arguing DeSantis' argument. I'm not about to sit there and say this is a stupid governor. He don't know what he's doing. He's dumb. He couldn't. I'm not gonna say any of those things because you want to know why. I'm arguing DeSantis' talking point. I'm arguing his statement. I'm not about to argue and say something bad about him. Same thing with Trump. There's things that Trump have done that I don't like. But now, but for, for DeSantis to say he thinks that if Trump shoots somebody on Fifth Avenue, that conservative media weren't reported, that's kind of pushing it. Come on, come on, DeSantis. Have y'all hit that like button yet? Do y'all enjoy the way that I report these things to you? Do you enjoy the energy that I bring you? Because y'all know it's not too many people on here that's doing it like this, especially me. No, I'm joking. Please do me a favor and go into your cell phones, get into the contact list, share this channel with somebody in your contact list, and encourage them to subscribe to the channel. So what do y'all think? The points that I just got done talking about in here, do you think, do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comments below. Quite honestly, because I'm competitive and everything as an athlete, DeSantis, you kind of sound like a sore loser right now. I'm just I'm just being real. Just, just being real. Come on now. Come on now. But at the same time, keep kicking butt here in Florida, though, all right? Keep doing it, DeSantis. You are a guy. All right. Let me hear it, folks. I'm Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.
What's going on, everybody? So, hey, check this out. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. And also, right here is where you can catch the next video, the latest video that I've done. But, like, right up here, this is stuff that I've done kind of in the past. So, in this area, you might find a video that I've done in the past. It can be funny. It can be something serious. It does not matter. But this is something that you can also do to check out more material that I do in my channel. Because I do a lot in this channel, all right? So again, appreciate everything from you guys. Keep on watching it. Keep on supporting it. And God bless you all.